everybody, I'm Jonathan Coachman, and this is Super Bowl Sunday on EA Sports. Straight ahead, we've got what should be an interesting matchup between the Los Angeles Rams and the New Orleans Saints. With that, it's time for Super Bowl 53. For the call, let's go to Atlanta, as it is my pleasure to hand it over to Brandon Gotten and Charles Dave. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and it is our extreme privilege to be on hand for the Super Bowl. And I can't help but look down on this field, partner, and think about the history of this game and all the great players, all the great teams that have stood on the field for this moment so special. This game is so historic that while we call the Super Bowl now, that wasn't even the name of the first cup. All right, much appreciated, Coach, as we welcome all of you to our exclusive coverage of the National Football League on EA Sports. Tonight, it's all on the line. We play for the Lombardi Trophy. All the talk, all the hype, but the past is prologue as this Super Bowl is underway. This will be taken short. Then will take this across the 25, a couple extra yards, up to the 27-yard line. Stop him after a fairly minimal pickup. Tackled there by Alex Anzalone. They was looking for some running room, and there wasn't a whole lot of it there on that play. I think he was lucky to get a couple yards out of it. So those defenders, they were rallying to the football pretty quickly. Now <laughs> on second down, this is good. Not much room here as he only gets it to about the 30. Credit the tackle to Kurt Coleman. Whenever we talk about the best strong safeties, run work constantly comes up. And that's instincts, being able to diagnose rubber pass and make the appropriate moves. He crashed down hard there. He was ready for that right play. Throwing on third. Gone. And he gets his up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. It's a seven-yard game there. It's good enough to move the chains. But that's what you're looking for when you want to throw the ball downfield. You want one of those guys who can play out on the perimeter, who can play out wide, who can not only get open, but when they're covered, can uncover themselves downfield and create catches. Now a play fake here on first down. We'll get this complete to Cooper Cup and taking it across midfield and inside the 45. The play goes for 19 yards, gives him a new set of downs. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little crossed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. The slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. Officially, no gain on the play, and it's second down. And he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. Yeah, it was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just slurp. Quick, 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 and what a terrific play. Holding them with no game. And down to the 36-yard line here. Eight yards there on the carry, and now they're left with a much more manageable third and three. This drive is turning into an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys going to want to run up and tackle him. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. Fourth down after the New Orleans defense holds serve. You absolutely have to have this early on, right? Third and short, they elect to throw for it. And that's normal NFL football. They're going to throw on third and short, but you got to <laughs> that in the first quarter. Like you said, to set the tone, can't connect there. Well, that opening drive is good for a moment there, but they'll wind up being turned away thanks to the midfield goal. It does especially hurt when you come into a game on the road. You're trying to get things to go your way early, and now you suffer a setback right out of the gate. So the long field goal misses, and now the reverse. You're in a tough spot defensively. They'll strike the drive at the 43. <laughs> He's now on first down. Five time to his left. 
on for the point after. What's <laughs> good on the extra point, and that makes the score seven nothing. And we can break that scoring drive down pretty easily. One play, long touchdown pass into the end zone. <laughs> Morstead, the punter, out to kick it off. This will be taken very short. <laughs> they will take this across the 25, a couple extra yards, up to the 27-yard line. The Rams offense now making their way out to take over. Now they had compiled a pretty long drive last time. Unfortunately, though, it ended with no points after the missed field goal. And that can hurt the psyche of the team because as they drove downfield, you know you're never supposed to count points in your mind until they go up on the board. Let's face it, we've been there, we've seen teams before. They were counting on those points. They didn't get them. Can they come back now, start over again, and grind it out? That goes down as a loss against his rushing stats. But really, should he have to absorb that one? He had no chance on that play before they overwhelmed him. Pretty much on top of him before he can take his first step. Four yards on the pickup there, and now they're left with a third and eight. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a running back of this size, of these dimensions, I can just tell you that attrition does set in for a defense because if you're excited about hitting him in the first half, maybe not so much in the second half, and some of these shorter games turn into bigger runs later. Now a shot taken on third down, but it's going to wind up incomplete. It's a great job by this secondary. When I watch them, they remind me of elite defenders on a basketball court, right? They want to contest each and every pass. Great contest on third down to bring up fourth. And this one gets it to run, continues on into the end zone for a touchback. And now the Saints get set to trot out there. And following that long touchdown pass, a one-point drive last time, to see if the defense, you know they're ready. They don't want that to happen again. And you would have thought they would have been ready to last time. Okay, that's what you work on. He's got a man complete. And he takes it all the way down to the 32. A big play. Breeze finding Thomas. 48 yards. As a general rule, offensive linemen like to know what their quarterback's going to be when he's setting up to throw the football. But sometimes they just have to get on the run, get on the move. He was able to do that on that play and picks up the first down with a nice throw. Space to run past the 20 and all the way down to the 17 yard line. The escapability in evidence there is that one good for 15 and a first. A first opportunity upcoming in the red zone for the Saints. They've got a first and 10 at the 17. Into the red zone, it's Breeze. Dancing to his left. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. Back to back, nice plays. 12 yards that time and a first down. So three plays already first and goal, and they are wasting little time. Breeze going to throw. Steps away to his left. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one yard line. Four yards on the pickup. And that'll bring up second down. One man in the backfield. That's Ingram on second and goal. <laughs> now they'll throw with Breeze. And he's going to go down. This will count as a sack. A very short sack. Taken down at the two. Samson Abuka. In there to get him for a loss of a yard, and it'll bring up third down. When you're this close to the goal line, you've got to expect pressure from the defense, so the ball's got to come out fast. Got to get out of his hand. Yes. Touchdown, New Orleans. Drew Graves, his 
Jackson get touchdown in the Super Bowl. And the Saints add on to their lead. Lots to try to have the PAT. Certainly there are good things about quick strike offenses that score fast. But a long drive can also work to your advantage as well. In so many ways, Brandon, because number one, you get them tired, but the big one is mentally. They can't figure out how to slow you down, how to get off the field, how to get the ball back. They go to the bench wondering, what are we going to do next time in order to stop those guys? This will be taken short. And he'll get it up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. So now here are the Rams as their offense comes back out. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does. And a lot of teams split plays. We know that, right? They didn't have a script to start the ball game. And typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early. Probably not very deep into their scripts. I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet and try and generate some offense on this track. Anything. At least three points get that zero off the board. On first down, it's Gurley. In on the tackle, Alex Okafor. When you're down early, how do you get back in the game, maybe establish the run? I think they're trying to do that. Now I'm with you on that one, and what I like about the message is that there's no panic from the head coach. He's already told his offense coordinator, let's run the football, let's get things settled down a little bit, and find our way back into this game. Demario Davis there on the stop. Pretty good job defensively. Thought he was going to get it, but they knew where that marker was, and they stopped him just short. What it does is emphasize that strategic football and situational football is not just played on the offensive side, is it? The defense understanding, as you noted, where the first down marker was and making sure they didn't get there. No gain on the play there. Nice yeah. job defensively, and it likely forces a punt situation on four. For the short partner, I mean, this will be a really risky call. Here we are in the first quarter on your own side, of the, side of the field. Oh boy, what a tone setter that would be to go for and get it, wouldn't it? It's great. I like it. I'm feeling it. Second and ten. How does the Saints offense now as they get ready to take over here? And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, I can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in. And got his man, complete. A break away from Michael Thomas. Check. Touchdown, New Orleans. Michael Thomas, an 80-yard touchdown. And the Saints now add six to their lead. Well, you know he can be explosive, and he's ultra-explosive there on the fly route. You know how many times we've talked to coaches, and we have quoted back to us, well, you know something? When you execute really well, it doesn't matter if they know it's coming or not. Well, sometimes athleticism beats you as well. He just took off and went. And that's almost like one of your turkey bowl games, isn't it? Just go along, <laughs> man. The I'll hit you. And it worked really well for them. Lots of look to add the extra point. <laughs> Lutz with the extra point, and it's now 21 to nothing. <laughs> Morstead, the punter, out to kick it off. Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. And some dangerous territory. You're already down three scores. A three and out here or an inability to put any points up. This one might be over by half. Yeah, and what you also have to guard against is calling every play for a big shot down the field. You know, thinking you're going to get all these points back on one drive. You're not. And last time I looked, it's still the first half. I'm not saying you have ultimate patience here, but you also don't have to go ahead and force anything either. Another carry now for Gurley. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. And they'll lose a yard that time, and that's going to lead to a third down. 
Now, this is playoff football. I mean, what a big time tackle. Perfectly executed. A little extra emphasis there. And he's down for a loss as well. Here's Goff. And he will find his man on the end round. Complete his first catch. Good for 16 and a first. I know I spent a lot of time talking about tight ends in a lot of cases now, pumped up wide receivers, but they're still big people. They used that frame right there to throw a really big hit on him and held on to the ball. Goff turns and gives the Gurley. And Russell is way up to the 43 for a pickup of right around five. And there's a run to be happy with. Good, solid yardage. He'll take that any time you hand the ball to him back. Here's Goff now on second down. Over the middle, that's Harlan by Cup. And he'll get it out to midfield. Looks like he'll spot it right in midfield at the 50. A ran first down as Goff finds Cup. <laughs> From the 50, it's Goff. Get a quick throw here, that's complete. And he'll be taken down at the 44 yard line. A gain of six there on first. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. <laughs> they go play action with Gurley. Now gone. And they go for receiver. It's Robert Owens. And he gets this one all the way down inside the 20 yard line. A good pick up there, 26 yards. So there on that play, offensively, they ran the crossing route. Defense was in zone coverage, so as a former DB, how tough is it to defend that? It's really difficult because the natural inclination to chase the receiver and maybe leave your zone. So you have to have discipline in order to talk to your other coverage guys and let them know that that receiver's crossing from your zone to the next zone. He's coming your way. Make sure you have him. And then, when the ball is actually thrown, secure the tackle. And then move it on crossing routes. If you miss a tackle, it usually results in a big play. The throw is gone. And it's complete. He's got it in the end zone. Touchdown Rams. Tyler Higby, a seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Rams are able to come into this lead. That's almost just not right. You cover everybody. But those tight ends, they can be awfully reliable. Very reliable. And the defense just has to hate those guys. This drives me crazy because oftentimes you can't match up with them. They have to either with size, speed, or maybe just strength. So Bree's going to leave the Saints out here first and 10 at their own 25 yard line. <laughs> On first and 10, here's Breeze. Being chased out left. Now he'll throw deep left side. It's caught inside the 25. Check. Touchdown, New Orleans. Michael Thomas, his second touchdown in this Super Bowl. And the Saints and 